everybody back again episode two of the hatchet example item four and we're going to throw together the basic lots not do the res lots yet i'll do them in their own trying to keep the episode short again nice and simple quick uploads uh it's kind of geometry nothing in geometry top view seven create a box scale it down change the view around just want to make this box roughly hatchet shaped could be two boxes for a hatchet if we wanted to get fancy with it I might do that actually It's only a geometry, so it doesn't really matter. It's just got to be a good approximation of the object. So, I want to get the top view. F7 again. Scale it down, shift control, right click and drag. Just get those two just on the y axis. Side view, it's not in the right place to see. That is about as complex as I'd ever want a geometry for a hatchet. I think we could maybe skip these faces and go, no, not X. Squeeze them in. There we go, geometry. So over in the properties window, that is in properties. Right click new, just type auto center zero. I'm going to select all of it and give it, I don't know, how much does a hatchet weight? Two kilos, three kilos, something like that. Yeah, not quite done in geometry. We also need to go structure, topology, and find the components. There we go, two components that make up our um, geometry. That's the one. View geometry, we'll make it easy to pick up, I think. So we're gonna go create a new box. F7, okay. Scale it down to box size. make it all round a bit bigger than the hatchet that should be nice and easy to look at and pick up yeah and again structure topology find components uh, I think our geometry is probably good enough if we copy that 
paste it to use as fire geometry. And we can select that whole chunk and assign it a material from Daisy data data penetration wood wooden handle open that up apply OK and the head same again daisy data data penetration and we're gonna use iron plate iron armor cast iron one of them experiment see what one sounds better when you shoot it I'll just go with the iron. Maybe C in eliteness. What? No, it doesn't tell you. General model info. No, that'd be a nice feature. Tell you what, RV maps it uses in the fire geometry. It doesn't matter. Iron will do fine. Click OK. Apply. So that is zero load. View geometry, or oh, geometry, view geometry fire geometry all done it just leaves memory so now we do want to go to eliteness and check the memory load we've got the same ones that we had last time plus a melee range end and a melee range start these are the two memory points that make it a melee weapon make it cut people or zombies Give it its sharp edge. You could use, have a look at a knife. And do the same on a knife. So we're going to create these memory points in our memory lot. Let's just go for a top view. And we'll start at the top bounded box max and bounded box min. So hit the insert key. Um, new, what's it? Bounding box underscore max. Let's drag that guy around. Let's say in that corner, and then I'm gonna put the bounding box min in this corner. Insert. We want a CE center, so slap that smack bang in the center. Oh, I made a mistake there, they're both highlighted. Don't want that. I just want to select that one. E center. Redefine. Make sure to click off of it before we create. We'll put it in this corner. Insert. New CE underscore radius. Is that how you spell radius? Yeah. Gonna want an inventory view, so I'm gonna put that over here somewhere. In double V view. We're throwing impulse position there. 
that's an interesting memory point. It makes, well, I'm not 100% sure on this, but it's the point that it rotates around when you throw it, or the mass, the, the, the impulse of it throwing. It's hard to explain, but experiment with it again. Test it in game. Throw your item, move the point, throw your item some more. We might do some testing of that later. Um, that one. New row in impulse boss mission. Let's switch to side view and we'll have an insert. Make sure we've just got that selected and do new melee range start and another insert. Oh, get in it first and then insert there and do new melee range end. So the memory points we need, the same ones that the vanilla hatchet's got. Um, let's rearrange up a bit because the center needs to be somewhere in the center. Do about there. C radius wants to be down here at the corner. Bounding block max, that can be down there. And bounding box min wants to go up there. Inventory view, it's not right. Pretty sure inventory view wants to be. Deselect that one by shift control and drag over it and redefine. Where did inventory view want to be? I think it's a bit no nope. more that way and a bit that way. Yeah, somewhere around that. Bounding box max, bounding box min, yeah, they're on opposite sides. Centers in the center, radius. Again, wants to be centralized. Inventory views over there. Nearly start. Oh, that one didn't name right. Obviously, messed that one up. Nearly range, end. End. There we go. Pretty sure that is all of them in the right positions. Um, oh, we didn't check the throwing impulse position. Oh, missed one, didn't I? Always miss one. Well, that's not where I think it should be. I've done a hatchet in the past, so let's go. A quick look at that. I haven't ever released it. Where is it gonna be? Probably the old Road Warrior Rebar Axe Hatchet. Did a little bit of experimentation when I made this one. Uh, throwing impulse position. Yeah. I put it quite high up and slightly forwards on the off the center of mass. Oh, I think I'll do something similar for this one. So move it on the y axis and move it on the x axis. See how it goes, shall we? That 
is all of the lots. If you want more information on lots, you can always go to the BI wiki and um, read up on them. Always check your uh, item that you're making against a similar item from the Daisy Vanilla files. There's always something. Base building item, go check a fence. Um, melee item, go check a melee item. Gun, go check a gun. Vehicles, a bit more complex. We'll get to them one day. <laughs> it's easier to use free samples that people have made, such as my source car. I think that will do for this evening. Yeah, it's pretty late. My voice is going croaky. And I've made a start on this little hatchet. I think before we call it quits, I'm going to delete that proxy because I saw that proxy is still there. We don't need that anymore. Now we've lined the thing up. Next time, we will do some resolution lots or the textures. I'll see how I feel tomorrow evening when I get a chance to record. Take it easy, peeps. Right.